Good morning, you guys. I'm here with Maybelline, and today I'm going to try some new shears, and I'm going to trim the bottom of her coat. So if you have a dog in full coat, uh, a dog that you're growing coat on, I'm going to show you how I trim the bottom of the coat. And we're going to put our top knot up, and that's about it. And I will um, send you guys the link afterward to Amazon to order these shears if you're interested in them. Um, we do have some shears still for sale in our store, so you can check that out as well. Um, it's good to see you guys. So I'm going to get started. So Maybelline is, I'm growing her coat out, and it is quite the process. Uh, honestly, it takes probably about a year and a half to grow the coat out, and so I'm going to show you where her coat is at now. It's probably about three quarters of the way grown out. And when you look at her coat, there's a point where their coat is long enough that you have to decide a couple different things. If you want it to grow out and be extremely healthy and clean cut and look like a show dog, then you have a couple different options. Option number one is you put the dog in wraps. And you may have seen somewhere on the internet where they put the dog in wraps. They essentially use a paper that's similar to perm paper and they wrap the coat um, to prevent it from, so essentially they lay the hair in the wrap, they fold the wrap over it, then they fold it up kind of like a little package and they put bands around it so that the coat isn't dragging on the floor so that the dog can move freely, not get stuff tangled in their hair. Option number two is to put them in very heavy oil. Oil meaning a very heavy conditioner and that's what I've done with Maybelline. So when you see her coat right now, she looks oily because I've put her in a very heavy, heavy conditioner. You essentially just leave the conditioner in the coat and then you, um, you wash them once to two, one to two times a week so that the hair follicle doesn't get clogged because you don't want them to have suffocation of the hair follicle. So you have to bathe them frequently and it just helps the coat to stay very uh, healthy and it also helps it to not be so tangled. So I've put her in some very heavy conditioner and so you'll notice that her coat doesn't look full, doesn't look bouncy, it looks very oily. So when you see her, that's what you're looking at. So what I'm going to do is I don't have her um, harness. We do have harnesses left and I will copy that here in the comments in a second. Um, the tub harnesses work great for bathing them in the sink. They're waterproof, mold resistant. Um, they're great. Um, and then you can also use it here on your grooming table to hold them. Um, but I'm going to try to groom her without using it. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So essentially, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put her hair up in a top knot to get the hair out of her face. I just finished blow drying her. And um, I hope that you guys enjoy what I'm going to show you. Her coat's, like I said, about halfway grown out. Um, and once it gets down to the ground, I will be trimming the coat entirely but today we're going to focus on the feet because who can tell me the leg hair grows very quickly okay so it kind of goes leg hair feet grow first then the sides grow and then probably the face grows the slowest so um yeah so i'm going to go ahead and start banding her top knot and you guys can ask any questions that you have in the comments below and I will answer them the best that I can at the end of the live, okay? The bands that I'm using, we do sell these in our store. Uh, go to Maltese Groom, click Shop, and these are just wrapping bands, you guys. Um, we do have different kinds of bands that, um, that we sell. These are just very heavy duty. They do not, they stretch very easily, so people that have difficulty maneuvering those really teeny tiny bands, these work really well. And, um, so I'm going to put her in a maintenance top knot, okay? So let me get a looking for her comb, and I don't see it. So I'm just going to use the brush. This is a boar bristle brush, and it's just gentle on their little head. So you can see how oily her hair is. It just kind of stays where I put it. And you'd be surprised within a week, you know, their hair kind of sucks up all the moisture out of the conditioner and then it's time to put them back in conditioner again. Now, if I was doing photos for her today, I would blow dry her with regular conditioner, like always bright eyes, and um, 
it would be more of the same, but I need to, her coat's getting more and more difficult to manage without, without um, putting her in a heavier conditioner, okay? And then I just have some cute little barrettes I picked up here. I think I got them at the dollar store. And it's just going to hold her little, her little wispies that are growing out, out of her eyes, okay? And then I could band her face. I could put little ponytails on the sides of her face. Two things cause face breakage. One is them chewing the coat off. Another is them actually chewing bones. So show dogs don't usually, they're not allowed to chew bones because what happens is all of this coat here will start getting chewed off. But what Maybelline does is if I band her face, she'll keep pulling the hair, like rubbing her paws on it, and she gets it all matted up. So I don't band her face. Okay. So these are the shears that I got off of Amazon. Very high quality shears. I've talked to the company promoting them and um, we'll see how they are. This is my first time using them. If I can get the box open. Comes in a really fancy, nice box. If you guys are enjoying this video, please share it and comment below. Tell me what you guys want to see more of. I know that one of the things you guys really enjoy is, um, you know, trimming of the face and stuff, but because I'm growing her coat, we're not going to be trimming her face, okay? Um, so I'm just unboxing them here with you guys. It looks like it comes in a really nice um, pouch to protect them. Whoops. And it looks like it has a very nice, I'm not sure what this is for. Oh, okay. So I'll have to ask them. It comes with like a little leather thing and this must be for sharpening or something. Um, so these are the shears and I think they were about $30. They're very smooth. The brand is Jason and they are really, really light. Put you guys, put you guys really close. Shears can be very expensive. Um, it has a nice rest for my finger here. Shears can be very, very expensive. So see if I can get her to stand. When she was showing in the show ring, she, um, oh, it's a tightener. Thank you, Trisha. See, Trisha's my friend and she's a professional groomer. Okay. So here's the deal. You guys, her coat is growing out really nicely, but let's be honest. She doesn't have the life of a show dog. Okay. She runs in the leaves. She runs around on the carpet. So you, you guys can see where her coat is at now. Okay, let's take a look. Can you guys see? It's, it's a little choppy right here. So we're just going to trim the bottom and just kind of clean up the bottom, okay? So the first thing is you want to make sure you wash the dog. You want to make sure you get all the mats out. And then you just want to brush the hair straight down. And like I say, if you don't demat them first, it's obviously not going to be straight. It's a little tricky to show you guys to hold her and... Okay. So you guys can see that we're just going to trim a bunch of... I don't panic about trimming the bottom because, you guys, it's going to grow back. And at the end of the day, when her hair is all grown out, I want it to look straight across. So if I have to keep trimming this damaged hair on the bottom, it's okay because this top coat is pretty short. See, that's why it takes like a year and a half for all this coat to, to get to the floor. Okay. So it's okay to trim the bottom. I would rather having it look, you know, really clean. You can hear her collapse trachea. Jeez. Okay. So I would rather, and normally I would take a comb and I would separate this hair and really, really, I mean, show dogs, they really, they literally separate the hair like this and they comb it down and they put a lot of work into um, making sure the coat is perfect, but she is not a show dog. So I'm just going to trim the bottom of this. 
it has been a very long time since I trimmed her coat, as you can see. So let me point the camera down so you guys can see. I really like these shears. Okay. Now, normally, if you were trimming a show coat, oh, these are nice. Very sharp, very light. I like them. So how are you guys doing? How's that look, guys? So then I'll comb and recomb and comb and recomb. I still feel a couple little mats in there. She's pretty hard on her coat. Uh, she scratches a lot and rubs it. She has a regular bed. And she goes out in the... Thank you, Stacy. Stacy just sent me some stars. Wow, this these literally go through her coat. I'll tell you what, getting nice shears, I mean, these aren't overly expensive. I know shears vary in price quite a bit. But um, I mean, shears can be hundreds of dollars, you guys. See, I'm taking off quite a bit. I don't think so. They're they're fitting nicely in my hand. How do I tell Trisha if they're left or right shears? They don't have pivoting thumbs. I know that's one thing that some people get. Maybelline's coat grows really fast. So now I'm going to trim the bottom of her back leg. Good to see you guys. It's been a while. How are you guys doing? It's autumn now. Pretty soon it's going to be winter out. But, uh, it gets so cold here. So some people ask me, do you shave her belly? No, I don't. Because if I shave her belly, then it's going to be kind of see-through on her sides. So I keep her belly hair on. She gets matted on her belly, but oh well. All right. Took me a while to groom her. She had mats, and I was like, you know what? She's matting too much now. I'm going to put her in a heavy conditioner. Wow, these shears are nice. I've always used Fromm shears and then also these shears that I had way back in the day. So this is kind of exciting to have some new shears, you guys. Oh, interesting. Trisha lives close by here. I should go and have her train me on some things. Comb, comb, recomb, recomb. See that? Keep finding more and more pieces. Keep trimming. I should be using a comb, you guys, instead of... But I used my comb for something else, and now it's not here. So instead of making you guys wait, I'm just using a brush. There was a show breeder watching this. They'd be saying, what are you doing? You should be separating the hair to trim it properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. What do you guys think, though? Her coat's growing out pretty fast, huh? Oh, thanks, Nadine. Good to see you. 
Okay. So now I'm going to turn her this way and I'm going to trim her. I'm holding her jaw right now. I'm not touching her trachea. Okay. So now we're going to trim the other side. Now it's imperative that you don't trim the tail hair at the bottom, so make sure you keep that out of the way, okay? So now I'm gonna come back in and trim the bottom here. Comb, comb, recomb. I'll tell you what, having them in short coat is a lot easier, you guys. It, it would take me maybe half an hour to wash and blow dry her with short hair. When I have her in coat, it takes me about an hour. An hour to hour and a half from start to finish. But of course, I don't brush her every day like I should, so it makes things take longer. She gets mats and stuff. Thanks, Ethna. Good to see you, Robin. Okay, so I just keep combing, recombing, recombing so that I get all the undercoat, or not undercoat, but all of the coat to come down. See? I'm going to trim her feet too. The paw pads, so you guys, if you want to stick around and see how I do that. These are definitely way sharper than the cheaper scissors. But, you know, if you're afraid to use super sharp shears. Don't get me wrong, these froms that I've been using for years, they work well, but they're not nearly as sharp. They, these glide differently when you're cutting. I think it's like people where when you trim the bottoms, it's not going to tangle as much. I'm going to post the link after I'm done going live where you can purchase these. I'm going to write a review for them. If you're looking for cheaper scissors for like $10, you can go. These are, I think, $30. So if you're looking for um, cheaper scissors, you can buy some at our store. These are just, I'm just now trying these. Wow, her hair has grown a lot. I'm surprised how well her hair is doing considering she goes outside, gets it all tangled up. And you do have to trim the back of the, the the back of the legs and also the front of the legs. Thank you, buddy. Well, you can see how beautiful her top line is. She's from one of the top bloodlines in the country. So you can see she has a beautiful top line. 
And when she moves, she glides. She got beautiful structure. See, there's always a few hiding. You just keep re retrimming. Trying to move my Okay, now I'll face her forward and you guys can see. See how long her coat is in the front? Thank you for the stars, you guys. I really appreciate that. Okay, so you can see her coat in the front is all raggedy looking. Thank you, Betty. Yeah, she's from Tejan Maltese, which is a world-renowned uh, breeder who's been around for like 30 years. She previously was a show dog, but then she was retired, and that's when I got her. I got her when she was about a year and a half. She's eight now. She still knows the drill. Okay, so right now you can see that I've cleaned up, cleaned up the bottoms really, really nice, okay? And I'm just going to keep trimming here. Sometimes the hair is so thick you have to kind of change directions. Now, I'm telling you guys, if you saw a show breeder doing this, they really, really take their time. Like literally using hair clips and separating the hair in sections. Just like when you go get your hair cut, how they meticulously do it. Same way. And I used to, I actually had several champions. So I understand the importance of that. But Maybelline is not a show dog. She's a pet. So I'm just trying to make it look a little nicer. So if you're just joining us, I was explaining in the beginning of the live, you can either go back and rewind it and watch it but I've decided to put her in a really heavy conditioner to protect her coat and you can see she looks really oily right now that's why so if I was doing photos with her or anything today I wouldn't have her in this heavy conditioner I would just use regular conditioner like always bright eyes and just um, blow dryer and she would look really fluffy okay Okay, so somebody's asking, Janice is asking how long it takes to groom her. So if, if she's in full coat and she doesn't have mats, I would say 45 minutes to an hour between washing and blow drying. If she's in short coat, probably a half an hour from start to finish. So this took me about an hour, probably an hour and 15 minutes, but she had mats that I had to demat along the way. So that, that of course, slows it down. Okay. So now you can see her foot hair is really grown out a lot. So I'm going to try to, to trim her coat now on her feet. A little tricky to do. I usually use um, my peanut clippers. Just want to get the majority, majority of it off. Got to be careful with scissors because they're paw pads but she's really good about this if you have a dog that's wiggling around don't try to use scissors get some peanut clippers and make your life easier okay so these work really well for the paw pads I really like them the tips are real good and sharp so I can work my way around the pads Whether you use a peanut clipper or scissors, it's just a personal preference. Okay. Yeah, peanut clippers. Hi, Vic. Um, 
Peanut clippers work better, but I can do both. Okay. So you got to make sure her, her foot pads are dematted and we're going to give her a little break. You don't want to try to trim with them laying down because when you stand them up, you're going to have the coat is going to be all different lengths. So you need to make sure you're standing them up. See, see that, that little hair right there is poking out. So now I got to trim it again. Okay. So again, the leg hair always grows faster. And the reason I don't shave her belly is because what would happen was you would have the, you wouldn't have the thickness here that you need when the coat is in full. Um, Janice, I'll post the link of where I get them on Amazon later. So you want to make sure you keep combing it down. See, I can see that I missed some here. It really, when you trim the bottom of the coat, it really, really, really looks so much better. I'm sorry I have to, like, hold her, you guys. She'll lay right down. She, she has a pretty easy life. She's a little princess, so she just wants to keep laying down. It's okay. She's tired, you know, after getting blow-dried for 45 minutes. And I'll show you guys in a minute. I'm going to trim the base of her tail, too. You guys find this interesting, even though you guys have pets? Comment below and let, let me know if you find this interesting, because I used to only do videos about, like, the Asian pet cut and stuff, and then I realized, um, yeah, there's a lot of people that are showing that nobody shows them how to, to groom, right? Thank you, Nadine. I appreciate that. Okay. So I'm trying to help both show people and pet people. Okay, so now I'm going to trim the back of her coat. Now, if you see, come on, Maybelline. Okay, so this is the back of her coat. So you want to make sure the legs are standing side by side. Comb the coat down. I see she's still got a little mat on the inside of her leg there. So what are we going to do? We're going to have to get that mat out. Otherwise, the coat is not going to lay nice. So we're trimming the bottom of the back of the coat now. You know, you guys have seen the dog on Westminster or whatever walking around the ring and their coat looks all nice and clean cut as they're walking away. So this is an important part. So then I'm going to trim just around the base of her tail and I'm going to trim the anus area. I trim the hair about an inch from the base of the tail. I don't like um, to shave around the anus. Most groomers do for cleanliness reasons, but I don't like it. So I just use scissors and trim. The purpose of grooming, trimming that base of the tail is because when the tail goes over the back, you can clearly see the lay of the tail, right? So as the dog is moving and a correct Maltese tail comes, as you can see, as she's, you know, her tail, when she's moving, will go over her back and you can see the, the set of the tail is part of the confirmation evaluation. 
in the show ring. So you want the judge to be able to see the placement of their tail, where it comes out of their body, and how it's being carried. Because the breed standard talks about, you know, it should gently go over the back. So if you have a tail that's really low set, that's actually incorrect. So, you know, you see, you see a dog that when they walk, the length of their back, and then sometimes they have the lower set tail. So when you're trimming the base of the tail, it gives a good visual to the judge the placement of the tail. I know I keep repeating it, but it's, that's why we trim the base of the tail, you guys. Okay, and, and obviously for cleanliness reasons, so they don't get dingleberries, okay? So, hope this is informational for you guys. Whoops. And if you're wondering why I'm not talking to her, because she can't hear me, but... Unfortunately, Maybelline went deaf a couple of years ago. All of a sudden, we realized she couldn't hear us. So that's why I'm not praising her. She always looks at me to see my reaction, and I'll smile at her and, and you know, encourage her, give her attention. Okay. So let's finish trimming her. Um, I'm going to let her lay down. Okay. And you have a couple different options. You can lay them on their side. Let me see if I can get her to lay on her side. I don't know if she will or won't. Sometimes she will. Sometimes she will. Good girl. Okay. Because obviously it'll be easier for me. I'm going to try to get her to lay down. Try to get her to relax. Okay. So she, it's easier for me to groom her if she's laying on her side. See how good she is? I just stay calm. And she is, um, she's still hesitant. But I'm just going to help her to relax. Okay. Now I'm going to trim her back leg. You can kind of use your forearm too to help them relax. And I don't have her little r rubber mat on here right now. Normally I would, but when you're trimming the bottom of the coat and you have a big long shag rug on here, that doesn't work so well. So, See how tedious this is, guys? <laughs> yeah, I should have my peanut clippers way easier so did you guys groom today did you groom yesterday it's good to see a bunch of you guys this is not as clean as if we had the the clippers right guys the peanut clippers okay now, at this point, when she's laying on her side, I can see this mat right here, so I'm going to see if I can get this mat out while you guys are here. Okay? Oh, she's going to want to jump up now. So when you're training them to lay on their side, you can just kind of put your thumb underneath their shoulder. Okay? Yep, that's right. Myrna's exactly right. So they can feel you. If you're nervous, they know. They can feel it. So you have to relax so that they can relax. Now, if she had her, her um, rug on the table, that would make her relax too. But this is just going to have to do. Stay. Okay, so I'm just kind of holding her, and then I wait a few seconds until she knows it's okay. Because remember, she can't hear me saying stay. Okay? So if, you can also lay them on your lap and do this. It's more comfortable. Might make them feel more. This brush I'm using is a slicker brush. Okay? 
If you guys want to know the link for that, comment Slicker be below. It's a slicker brush by Number One All Systems, and it helps to get mats out. They mat a lot on their back legs and um, their inner legs because obviously they lick and clean themselves. So it's a very common area for them to get mats. See, now she's laying down relaxing. Aww. Terry said she shared it. Thanks for trying to share, you guys. I appreciate it. Stay. So we got the mat out. That's good. Okay, see if I can... And you don't want to trim this when their foot is up in the air on the top because when they stand up, it'll be all messed up. You only want to trim the top part and the outer part of the foot when they're standing. They're really good shears. Probably not top notch, but they're really nice. Thank you, Terry. How do I get all the hair off my clothes? I use a, um, what do you call those? Those tape roller things. So I get it up, most of it off. I stand up and rub it off my clothes, and then I go up and I use a roller. Yep. It's part of the reason I moved back to this room. I wanted to do have, have her in my office, but... Um, I kind of decided I didn't want all the hair in there and also I do coaching now and I didn't want the grooming table in the back of my coaching videos so I do health coaching. Lay down. So now I'm going to trim this other foot. Now I could flip her over but then she'll get all wound up again so I'm just going to do it like this. So I kind of go right underneath the nail and trim, and then I go back to the other part. I know she's probably... Their foot hair grows really fast, so you need to trim every couple few weeks. It gives them better traction. They won't lick their feet as much. Okay, so let me see if she needs, see her front paw pad is also very long. And I can tell she's been licking her paws a lot because they turn red. So if they're licking their paws a lot, what does that mean? First of all, make sure you trim their nails and trim the hair on their feet. And then also it can be from yeast in their diet, a yeast reaction. Uh, it can be from eating corn in their food. It can also be from boredom.
Yeah, make sure, Gina, you're trimming, but also make sure uh, you can write to me privately. That's why I feed a, a food that doesn't have any corn or preservatives or anything in it. They can have food allergies um, to different things. I use a holistic food. And um, for the most part, she doesn't lick her feet. A little bit. Some dogs really, and always bright eyes also helps with the itchiness. I've seen people have solid white feet with their dogs and then they use the always bright eyes and it stops the itching and um, helps a lot. Happy birthday to Showy or Snowy. Okay, in a minute. So as long as I've got her on her back, I'm going to try to trim her nails. Well, now she popped up. So when I trim her nails, I usually let her lay on her back. Let me see if I can trim her nails today. She does not like having her nails trimmed. Does not. Yeah, I don't have her nail trimmers in here. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions? So, so far what we've done is to trim the bottom of her coat. If you're just joining us, we put her top knot up. This is a maintenance top knot. And using my same tools, um, we have a few of these brushes left. This pin brush that I use in our store. And... Um, This is a just a regular pin brush. This is a slicker brush, all system slicker brush. And this is a Chris Christensen bore bristle brush. This is all systems. Okay, probably backwards for you guys because I'm using the front facing camera. These are bands that we sell in our store. This is just a container. You can pick these up at Menards. It's just for, you can put screws in here and stuff. So I use them for bands. But we sell these bands in our store. Okay. And these are just little barrettes that I picked up at the dollar store. Okay. So I'm going to take one more last look. We groomed her tail. We groomed the bottom of her coat. Just trying to keep it healthy. Um, she's in a very heavy conditioner right now. That's why her coat doesn't look fluffy as usual. I do not trim the length of her tail, just the base of the tail. Okay. Thank you, Vic. The brush Janice is for sale if you go to MalteseGroom.com and click on shop. You'll see we only have a couple of them left. We're almost sold out. Um, I'm selling out of my, item, my stock items and will not be restocking them. I'll just be recommending you guys places to buy the, the items. So when they're gone, they're gone. This is a small one. I now sell the medium, so yours will be a little bit bigger. She's making that noise because she has a partially collapsed trachea. You guys, that's why I create the tub harnesses that you guys can use to protect your dog's trachea and keep them safe in the sink and on the grooming table. Especially if you have a dog that moves around a lot. The tub harness works really nice. Holds them still. Instead of them flopping around the grooming table or the counter when you're trying to groom them, you can just put the tub harness on them. Okay? All right, enough trimming. I keep trimming more and more and more. Um, I'm going to put in the comments section now a couple links that I've told you guys about. And... Um, So this is my personal profile. If you guys want to connect with me over on Facebook, I would love 
to connect with you guys. And this is the other link for the harnesses. Hold on. And this is for the tub harnesses, okay? So I put two links. One is my personal profile if you guys want to keep in touch on Facebook because I don't come on here much anymore. And the other one is for our tub harnesses, okay? They can be used in the tub to hold them still and also the grooming table. So you can attach them onto here. Everything in our store, what's left is left. I will not be restocking. So when they're sold out, they're sold out. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed our grooming session today. If you're just now joining us, we trimmed her coat, I dematted her, I trimmed around the base of her tail, we trimmed the foot pads, and um, that's about it. She looks pretty cute. Yeah. So thank you for spending time with us. Thank, thank you so much to those that gave us some stars. And thank you so much to you guys for following this page and sharing. I really appreciate it. If you need any further help, thank you, Janice. You can write to me privately and stay in touch. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful Sunday. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Much love to you guys. And um, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.